Hey there guys, good afternoon. In today's problem, we want to use this mechanism to raise a crate from the cargo hold of a ship. We're given the mass of the crate as well as the radius and moment of inertia of the cylinder. Attached to the cylinder is a crank handle and as we turn it, the crate rises upwards and the handle will move along a small circular path. What we need to do is figure out how much force needs to be applied to the handle in order for the crate to accelerate at the value given here. Normally, we would want to use conservation techniques to solve this kind of problem, since that would be the easiest way to do it. But unfortunately, we're missing some important information and we can't progress that way. So instead, let's begin by drawing a free body diagram of the crate. The forces acting on it are its weight pulling downwards and the tension from the rope pulling in the opposite direction. And here I've drawn the tension much longer to indicate an overall positive acceleration in the plus y direction. And speaking of acceleration, let's add that off to the side as well. There's nothing else here to account for, so we can slide all this stuff over to the side and get started on the sum of forces. In the x direction, there's clearly nothing going on there. The crate doesn't move side to side as it's being raised, so that sum is equal to zero. In the y direction, however, it's a different story. We have our positive tension and the negative weight being equal to a positive MA term. I'm going to switch out the weight with its definition, mg, and then I'll move that term over to the other side and then factor out m this equation for the tension will come in handy a little bit later. For now, let's move on and create a free body diagram for the cylinder and the crank handle. I'll start by labeling the cylinder's radius as capital R. And the only force acting on it is the tension of the rope, which pulls downwards as it supports the crate. For the handle, let's represent the path that it moves through using a small circle, like this one. That smaller circle has a smaller radius, so let's call that lowercase r. And the only force acting on the handle is the tangential force, f, which we want to solve for. There's no other forces to worry about here. And what's nice is that uppercase and lowercase r are not only the radius for each circle, but they're also the lever arm for each force. So everything that we need is identified, and we're ready to use the sum of torques equation next. That sum will contain two terms, a positive torque on the handle due to f, and a negative torque on the cylinder due to the tension. And this is based on the rotational direction that I've defined in the top right corner. Let's insert the two-dimensional definition for each torque and we'll use 90 degrees as the angle between each force and its respective lever arm, since they're perpendicular to each other. The sine of 90 degrees simplifies to one so our expression can be reduced to the following. At this point, we have an equation that contains two unknowns, f and alpha. It might seem like we're stuck since we weren't told anything about the angular acceleration, but check this out. The linear acceleration of the crate depends on how fast the cylinder rotates which means we can use the following equation 
that relates those two quantities. And if we take that and divide both sides by capital R, then we have a ratio that we can substitute for alpha. And now the only unknown variable is f, which we can solve for algebraically. If we take that tr term and move it over to the right and then divide both sides by lowercase r, well, now we have f isolated on the left-hand side. I'm also going to factor out 1 over lowercase r on the right and then insert our expression for the tension that we got earlier. If we plug in our numbers, here's what we get. And when I enter all of this into my calculator, I get a force magnitude of 1,302 newtons. However, we need to approximate this value using two significant figures based on uh, what was given to us in the problem description. And so expressed in scientific notation, our final answer will be 1.3 times 10 to the 3 newtons. And that's it. We're done. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope this helps.